hello hello welcome back to another video and if you're new welcome so today I just want to do a simple set using some foils um, I want it to look kind of elegant like something that you would possibly wear if you were a bridesmaid or maybe even just to the wedding yourself um, so it's gonna be black white silver and there's gonna be I want to airbrush some gray in there just to kind of ombre stuff I am like I said, trying to practice with the airbrush. And I'm learning that when you do ombres with the airbrush, it is so much faster than if you're dabbing. At least that's what I'm learning. Um, I'm sure there's dabbers out there that can just whip them out in no time. But anyways, I'm learning how to do that with the airbrush. And so I thought this might be kind of fun to just kind of make a, a uh, kind of an elegant set, I guess you'd say. So anyways, without further ado, I'm gonna get started. All right, so I'm trying to get these a little bit closer um, to the camera. I know they're half the time they're too far away, so we'll give it a shot. <laughs> so today I'm gonna be using Enel Couture's black. Um, this is 002. This is currently my favorite black polish to use. Um, along with that, I'm gonna be using McCart's Nail Art Foil Glue. This is what I use when I put on foils not sure if I'm gonna need that base coat or not. Um, and I'm gonna use Madame Glam's, this is perfect white. I'm gonna to top everything with Enel Couture's, this is shiny, and this is a no wipe top coat. And this is my all time favorite top coat, so. Um, and I may or may not do a matte, we go through this every video, I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> so I've got Model 1's matte top coat. I've got some um, glitter that I want to sprinkle on one of the tips. I just want this to look really, really pretty. And then um, I grabbed black and gray. Anyways, this is the dark gray. This is Savvy Land. And I'm wanting to try and do kind of an ombre on a couple of nails just to see how that works. And I'll be using the airbrush. So let's see here. To get started, I'm gonna be doing, so I'm gonna do three black tips and then I'm gonna do two white. And this gel here, this cures for 60 seconds in an LED, and then Madame Glam's is for 30, but they can all go in together for 60. It's not gonna hurt Madame Glam's polishes by any means. So I'm gonna try and do a thin coat of black. So the thinner you can do it, the better off you'll be. Um, as beautiful as black is, sometimes if you get too much on there, it will wrinkle. And then when it does that, it will peel. And if it's on somebody, well, you've got a mess because it didn't completely cure through. And I just, I know this from um, experience, I guess. Not that I want to admit that, but stuff happens, right? Why am I not? There's like light coming through that. Okay. So these tips were purchased off of Amazon. They're not prepped or anything. These are just for art purposes, just for design. They'll go in a little box of tips that I have. They're always fun to pull out when you can't, um, if you have a client that can't decide on a, um, a design or anything, or even a color sometimes, just pull out that box of tips and they can go through that and see what they like or see if there's any inspiration. Okay, this one is trying real hard. All right, so I just finished with work. Sorry, my fingers are a mess. My hands are dry. It's crazy, it's July 1st, and you wouldn't really know it. Our weather's been crazy. Yesterday was chilly and just huge thunderstorms. Today is a little bit warmer and wind, but I'm not going to complain. There's not any snow, so. Okay. 
Nothing against snow, I just this time of year don't want it. Okay. And these foils, you can get them, or that is not there, okay. You can get these um, foils just about anywhere. Enel Couture, Young Nails, um, Shein, Amazon, Timu. You might even be able to find them at your supply store, Sally's possibly. I'm not gonna say that for sure because I don't know if they carry them or not. And I don't want to mislead anybody, so. Yeah. All right, back to the polish. I think we can get away with one coat on each color. So these are going to go in the lamp for 60 seconds, and then we'll come back and design them. All right, so these are cured. And then this one here, I wanted to try this glitter. This is from, um, I want to say Shein. So it's either going to be Shein or Timu. I'm going to have to find the order um, that that came in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this little tip here, and I'm going to put shiny no wipe top coat on and then before curing it I'm going to sprinkle on the glitter and I like it textured so I'm not going to go back in with a top coat so once it's cured this one will be finished This little catcher here. Waste not, want not, right? Okay. Trying to get everything covered. This glitter just reminds me of like a like a black tie dinner or event. And it's that time of year where you've got weddings and reunions. Okay. All right, I think, nope, that back side right there. I want to say this is coated. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this in the lamp for 60 seconds. Okay. I'm going to put a lid on this. All right. And then I'm going to take one of these and I'm going to use... So what I want to do is I want to use the silver and I have learned that by putting on a no white top coat and curing it just for like a very short period of time um, maybe 15 seconds maybe less um, works really well it just makes it look more chromier I know that's not a word anyways um, so I'm gonna do that with this as soon as that is finished whoops Okay. 
So, all right, that one is done. So what I'm gonna do is coat this. So everybody's lamps are different, as well as your top coats. It's one of those things that you just kind of have to mess around with to see what works best for you. Not everything works the same way for everybody. Okay, so I'm gonna, all right, I'm probably only gonna do this for 13 seconds. Alrighty. Oop. Push these aside and then I use an applicator, just like an eyeshadow applicator. There's silicone tools that you can use, your finger, I mean, whatever works best for you. Again, just something that you've got to uh, discover for yourself. Wow, look at that shine. Tell you what, love this stuff. Can't get enough chrome. Okay. And then I just kind of brush it off. Look at that. Okay. So, again, I'm going to put the lid on because I'm trying to keep from spilling things. All right. So, these four here are going to get foil. And with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use the McCart Nail Art Foil Glue. I'm going to set this little one right there. And I have learned with this product, don't put it on too thick because um, what happens is it too can wrinkle. And I've been a little heavy handed a couple times with it and have discovered that it doesn't look good. So I'm putting it on the entire nail. I haven't made up my mind if I'm going to use the foil on the entire nail or if I'm just going to do a section of the nail. And then these will cure for 30 seconds in my LED lamp. And again, everybody's got a preference on their time. Okay, so those are out. I've done the chrome. So I'm gonna use a couple of these foils. Um, I thought the black and the white would be pretty. Anything lacy. So let's see here. Okay. I'm going to cut off what I think I'm going to need, and if I have to go back for more, that's fine. Okay. And I'm probably going to have to do that. So with this, this tip here, I'm thinking that the black would be really pretty on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go right there. And when you're applying the foils, you can use anything you wish to rub that on. You can use your finger, your fingernail, you can use a silicone tool, you can use, um, a cuticle pusher. I mean, there's just a slew of things. It's whatever, whatever works for you. So 
want to make sure this is on there. So there's that one. Okay. And then with the white, I'm going to have to probably get some more. Yeah. I'm debating whether or not to use a silver on the black or the white. Okay, this one's going to go all the way down. And I think, okay, so I might end up just doing the same foil on both of the white ones. Just a little section right there. Okay. And I don't think I have enough on that one. So I'm going to cut some more. And like I said, I'm not for sure where I got this one. It might have been Amazon, it could have been Shein. And I do save these pieces that don't get used. Not everybody has these really long nails. So I don't want to throw anything away. And then we've got this, and I'm thinking white would be pretty. I would like to think I cut off enough. Okay, sometimes it will fold in a little bit. Just try to get it as flat as you can. Nine times out of ten, the design turns out. Okay, I like that. Okay, I'm just goofing around. So what I want to do now is I just kind of want to do a little ombre with some gray airbrush paint. Okay. Okay. And what I'm going to use for that is I'm going to use this dark gray. And then this is my little airbrush that I'm learning how to use. Okay. And I this paint is amazing. It is already diluted for you. There's no measuring, no guessing. Just pour it in there and you are good to go. All right, so I'm going to get a paper towel. 
I have found putting a little slit. Where are my scissors? Okay. Put a little slit in here. Okay. And of course, if it's a if it's a client, then I mean, just do what you can to keep from making a mess. But this is what we're gonna do with this. Alrighty. So, and this has to be cured. Okay, so we're just gonna take it up. Just a smidge. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take this one off. I'm gonna put that one in the lamp. Just gonna hit it for 10 seconds. And then all these will get cured at the same time. And then this one, I'm thinking might be kind of neat. Maybe. <laughs> we'll see. Okay. I just wanted to see how well it would cover up the, um, the foil as well. So, I mean, I may have to do a couple coats, which is totally fine. I like that gray. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do two coats, I think. The sides did not get it very well. Okay, so I'm gonna put both of these in the lamp. Those are gonna cure for 60 seconds. All right, so I added just a smidge more of the paint because I want to get these sides. And again, this is going to go in the lamp for 60 seconds. Okay. So on this tip, I feel like it's missing something. So I have a little bit of the gray in there still, and I'm just going to add some black. Remember, these are already diluted, ready to go. And they are made for the airbrush. So, okay. And this I just turned. Oof, that's a mess. Well, hold on here. Okay. Need it to get a little darker. And again, it's gonna go back in the lamp for 60 seconds. And I'm gonna clean this up. Okay, so this one is done curing my lamp. Heck, okay. So these still look like they're missing something. So I don't know if you can see that, but there is a slight difference in the color as far as the gray. Anyways, with that being said, I want to put on, I think some rhinestones will be pretty. So it looks like there's some black ones. And let's see, I'm gonna do, definitely gonna do some black ones. Okay, and when I do rhinestones, I usually use, it's Betsy rhinestone, rhinestone glue, rhinestone. <laughs> And we're just going to give this a little something, something. Okay.
And this here is from, um, I think it was Shein. Again, I'm gonna have to look to see. I love this glue. It doesn't set up until you cure it. You do have to watch your stones though, or your charms, whatever you're putting on, because sometimes it likes to run. Okay, so I'm gonna just, oh goodness. Pop this in the lamp just for 10 seconds, just to set it so it doesn't go anywhere. All right, and then this one here, I'm thinking, hold on, I'm gonna wait for that light to go off. I'm gonna do these ones. And then when these are done curing, I will put a top coat. And when I do that, I always go around the rhinestone so that I don't lose the sparkle. I've discovered that putting a top coat on over those rhinestones will dull them. Okay, so both of them in the lamp. We're going to do a full 60 seconds. And then this is going to be put away. Okay, so those are done curing. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to give these a top coat. And I am using Enel Couture's shiny no wipe top coat I'm just going right up to the rhinestones right up to the edge just going to give them a little extra holding power there okay And then remember, we're not doing that one because I like the texture on there when the glitter is sprinkled on. All right, and then these two are gonna get Model 1's matte top coat. And remember, if you don't like it, you can easily go right over it with the shiny or any top coat you wish. I can't tell you what to use. Oh, and by the way, I am not sponsored by any of these companies. Everything that you see is bought and paid for by me. So now all these are going to go into the lamp for 60 seconds. All right, and there you have it. So just a fun, easy little set using um, foils in whatever design you wish and um, using top coat that is shiny along with the matte and then just a sugared nail. Anyways, um, just something fun along with the airbrush. <laughs> so if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, share, subscribe, and I will be back again shortly with another one. Cheers.